Hello. Today I wanted to bring you some information about usnea, or as some people say, usnea. It's commonly called old man's beard. It is a type of lichen, a type of fungus. It is an antibiotic, it's antimicrobial, it's antifungal, it's antiviral. All those usual things that the wild things are. Um, it heals wounds, it's used for respiratory issues, sore throats, flu, sinus infection, allergies. It also fights staph infections and strep, uh, strep infections. Um, it thins the phlegm, the mucus, so that you can cough it up. It is used for sores and abrasions. The way it has its effect on pathogens in the system is that it kills and attacks gram-positive bacteria. That is why it is used for strep, pneumonia, general respiratory infections, urinary tract infections, things like that. Um, it can be dried and ground into a powder mixed in with oils or creams to use topically. It can be crumbled and used as a tea. It can be crumbled and used as a topping for food. Now today when I was walking along the river, I am lucky I have several locations where I have access to. I just gathered actually three bags of these different varieties of old man's beard and I did this just in a small amount of time now I was given a jar of old man's beard by a friend that I met through YouTube his name is Angelo Monera he also has uh, music videos he's a music producer but he does healing of the nations he is a knowledgeable and strong believer in herbal medicines and so he sent me this jar and what I have been doing is I have been using about this size three times a day for about the last month to fight generalized infections. I've been using it like a preventative, like an adaptogen uh, to build my immune system just as a generalized thing. Now also today, what I did, I was making a wrap with some cabbage and some varosa and some dandelion leaves, plantain leaves, things like that. Well, I took some of these and I spread those in my wrap as well. This is how we work these wild things into our diet. I'll probably brew some tea with it. I had some hot and sour soup, so I stirred in some of this into the hot and sour soup, and it is, it's, doesn't have a flavor very much, but I wanted to bring this to you because again, this is one of those very powerful things that is probably growing near you. Certainly, if you have a wooded forest somewhere near you, it's growing. Now, this is one of two, if you look at it, this is God's handiwork. Look at this beautiful, lacy, delicate. I mean, this, this, is, this is God's hand in, in nature. And not only is it beautiful, but it's healing. This is for us. He did this for us. So that we can heal ourselves so I wanted to bring this to you and encourage you also to research this now I never want you to just take my word or anyone else's word for this there is enough information out there on the internet about these things that I bring to you you're going to want to look for nutritional information you're going to look for the nutrients that make this up the chemicals that make these plants up and the uses 
for these plants. So again, I hope I've brought you something knowledgeable that can aid you in having a healthier life that you take control of, that you are improving your own health. And again, remember, we always need to eat the wild things. Have a good day, and I'll see you later.